uh, you just saw the scale. I'm up at 166. I did go up a pound and I'm not upset and I know why and let me tell you why. <laughs> so, um, well, first of all, I actually took a break from uh, birth control a couple months ago. So my period's actually been regulated um, to happening the first of week each month. But, uh, you know, weight loss and weight gain does also affect your cycle. So that's doing that with my cycle right now. So like the last couple of days, I have been bloating, I have been cramping, I've been retaining everything. So I'm just pretty much like waiting to see when my period starts this time. <laughs> Who knows? And then also the second thing is, is I am releasing a lot of cortisol, which is the stress hormone, just because I have been experiencing a lot of changes, you know, good and bad. And like, for example, just to recap of yesterday, my stomach, I kid you not, all day was just knots. Like I just had butterflies, I had anxiety, my heart was beating fast, literally the entire day. And I'm just experiencing so many different things, you know, know, being nervous, happy, scared, excited. Just, I feel like freaking, you know, Tony from the West Side Story, like something's coming. Something great is coming. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? I, I just, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of things, I'm experiencing a lot of things, and then also yesterday as well, just because I was pretty much like nauseous the entire day, and then later on that evening, I was like, okay, I need to I need to eat something, I need to do something. So I'm actually really proud of myself because I was out running errands, and in my mind, I came across like a jack in the box, and a part of me was just like, you know, F it, like just get you that burger and get you that fries, but it wasn't in that celebratory, positive way, like, hey, you're craving a burger and fries, you deserve it, you earned it, treat yourself. Something like that, it was more of like a you know, F everything, give it all up kind of thing under those circumstances. And I'm like, I don't wanna eat that kind of food. I'm feeling that kind of way. I mean, like this entire journey has, yes, been about getting healthier and losing weight and feeling better in my body. Like I wanna lose weight, I wanna look better. I feel, I look good, you know, in my, what I think looks good. But at the same time, it's also definitely a lifestyle change and healthier choices. So I, you know, I implemented those choices a couple months ago and it really is making a difference just because of my mind thought and my mind process from last night I didn't do that I'm like I don't want to eat a burger and fries feeling this way so I made sure I came home and I had me a nice chicken Caesar salad and I still felt good and something in my stomach <laughs> you know as much as I could I'm just actually really proud of myself for being able to like stick with those healthy changes and you know, I mean I know I do try a lot of like diets for fun but it's really just all in fun and just experiment it's never anything that I feel like should stick to like diets forever it's really just like implementing those main changes so you're not like literally a couple months ago my diet i was drinking like three glasses of wine a night and then like every other day was pasta and even though I did most of my cooking at home, I didn't really eat fast food like that. My portions were huge. And then I would go back for seconds and thirds on top of that. So it really has been a huge, significant change. And I think my body and my mind is just finally catching up with everything. <laughs> But, you know, honestly, like I said before, like I am actually really proud of myself and I've made huge lifestyle changes that I've actually been able to stick to. I've been consistent and it's paying off and it's making a difference. And, you know, as far as like the, the anxiety and everything, you know, I feel like I feel this way because I'm on the right track. I'm on the right path. Like literally something big is gonna happen. Something is going to happen and I'm, I'm excited to see what it is. I think that's more what it is now. Before I thought it was anxiety because I correlated those two feelings with each other, but now I'm just like I'm actually really excited. I don't know what's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen. And so looking forward to that. Okay, everyone is still early, so I'm trying not to <laughs> be too loud, but yeah. Okay, so I just really wanted to come on here and share that with you guys. Okay, yeah, it's Tuesday. I will check in with you guys. My mom to meet some chicken. And I will probably share that with you guys for today. And other than that, I gotta get to work, you know. Gotta pay the light bill, so <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so for breakfast, I am having uh, one of my protein shakes. Um, because I am feeling crampy and bloated, I, I mean, I usually add bananas to it anyway, but I heard that bananas do help to alleviate some cramps and bloating. So I made sure to add my bananas. And then also, like, you know, whenever I'm feeling like extra fancy, sometimes I'll add some almond butter or peanut butter. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, go ahead. 
ahead and get my shaken. Mm. Oh my goodness, but the, the chicken though, the chicken that my mom's making looks so bomb. Let me show you guys. I mean, can you just like, look at that. Oh my God, and it smells amazing. Just bomb, Oh, so delicious. See you in a bit. All right, don't come for me or my non-matching set because I'm at home right now and I don't care. But like, is that ab definition? Like, are those, you see that? Is it just me? Do you see like some kind of abs forming? Especially when I like, cause when I was walking, I was walking like this and I'm like, oh, there's a, there's an outline. There's something there. I'm starting to see something. Doing my girl with Jojo. I'm gonna try to get some work in. I walk some three miles. Let's get it. Lord help me, Jesus. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't feel like changing, so why am I doing squats in the dressing? And, and uh, I'm running out of breath. She making me work for it, man. Woo! Yeah, this is this is good. I'm doing the most right now. Answering calls, doing this at the same time. Why am I so extra? I'm really being extra, but yeah, this is a good video. I'm running. I'm running out of breath. <laughs> I don't want to show y'all what it looks like if someone were to walk in because it's just okay Maybe I will show you hold on. She doing the kick and the kicks Some of the, the kicks we just doing kicks right now And then when I get a phone call I got right over here and then hands her and then I'll be running back and I'll be running back But I'm doing I'm doing something just staying extra all the way extra <laughs> Okay, so I just got super distracted <laughs> I was getting my groove on right and then I had to pause because I got a call in and then right after I finished the call then I got a message from my instructor so then I had to check the message from my instructor and then I had to do something with the homework and then back to like dealing with work again and then like now back I'm just I'm doing too much I'm doing like four things at once <laughs> I need to just focus 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 okay okay all right I'm done I'm done but I am actually super excited because I thought that my class was having weekly zoom meetings but that is not the case which means that I can continue taking my ballroom classes which I'm super excited about because it's free and it's going on until uh, either November or December so Lori I'm coming for you I'm gonna see you next Tuesday my It is day day five of week 14. Friday, Friday morning. You saw the scale. I'm at 165. So I've been pretty much plateaued this entire week, which is fine because I knew that was gonna happen. Like I mentioned before, that's pretty much been my weight loss journey is I will lose a couple pounds and then plateau for a week and a half, lose a couple pounds, plateau for a week and a half, and so on and so forth. So what I'm gonna be doing to get out of this plateau, according to Julian Michaels, I'll go ahead and link her video because I do watch her videos for really sound good advice. I really like Julian Michaels, but she says that a way to get out of a weight loss plateau is to actually load up on the carbs and on the calories because it's basically gonna like shock your body and jolt your body. And so then once you do that, then you can continue back on to your weight loss journey with the exercise and the caloric deficiency and everything like that. So that's really exciting because basically the next two days, I'm gonna be having some pasta. So <laughs> not crazy, not overboard, but I definitely do know that tonight um, I'm gonna be having a bow tie pasta salad. So I usually throw the bow ties in there for Bubby because she likes she loves pasta so I'll pick out the little bow ties for her and I'll give those to her um, but I'll have a couple myself and then tomorrow I'm also having a pasta again as well because I you know what I'm gonna treat myself I've been craving pasta I've been doing so good so this is gonna be beneficial you know in more than more ways than one so we're gonna load up on the carbs one day we're gonna do a flush 
and then Monday we're gonna get back at it. So um, I'm hoping that by loading up, I don't go over in 67. I mean, that doesn't really sound too realistic because I'm also like bloating right now and I think I'm PMSing. So I think my, my cycle's just starting at a different time than I expected, but um, I would be very happy if by Sunday after, if by Sunday after having um, morning because Sunday morning I wouldn't have done the flush just yet anyway like I said sorry, my thoughts are all over the place right now <laughs> so Sunday doing the flush Sunday morning um I want to make sure I end relatively still around like 67 66 65 and I will be okay with that because we'll be back at it again Sunday morning and then technically again Sunday afternoon okay so there you go now I'm rambling <laughs> all right so I will see you guys in a little bit and I will show you guys some of the salad and bow tie pasta that I'm having, uh, which I've made before, I've featured before in some of my previous videos, but I'm gonna show you guys anyways. Okay, all right, bye. My goodness, that was so good. Ugh, I'm so full. I literally had to stop myself because I'm just like, oh my God, pasta. <laughs> pasta is literally my weakness, you guys. I was like, literally, I was about to eat the whole damn bowl. I'm like, oh, this is so good. <laughs> but, you know, I was just like, moderations, be proportions. You're gonna have more pasta tomorrow anyway. So, you know, just hold on, hold on. But I was just like, oh my goodness, ugh. God, I love pasta. Yeah, like I said, literally pasta is my weakness. So I try to give myself, you know, I treat myself to it. You know, I treat myself to sushi. I treat myself to pasta at least once a week because if I'm just like completely just like restricting myself and holding off, then I'm gonna like end up retaliating and then like only eat pasta for like four days, which is not what I wanna do. So I wanna make sure I eat it in moderation and I'm just so excited about, I was so excited about today and I'm so satisfied right now. And then I'm even more excited about tomorrow because tomorrow's a little bit more pasta, gonna treat myself with a little bit of wine a little bit of pasta you know you know you know so yes uh, I'm so satisfied I did just show you guys one of those like little Reese's peanut butter cup things that I had they're keto friendly uh, they are 90 calories per one just had the one and it's not you know it does take the edge off you know a little sweet tooth I'm not a huge sweet tooth person but you know I'm PMSing a girl's craving some chocolate so I got myself some chocolate but <laughs> I, I, I didn't show you guys the inside but it was kind of like a like a car caramel texture not like kind of like chalky like an extra like Reese's peanut butter cup is with the peanut butter inside yeah it was a lot more like gooier caramely texture which kind of threw me off a little bit but you know I knew it was like off-brand peanut butter cup anyway so kind of had a feeling that was gonna happen but no it wasn't too bad not too shabby not too shabby so yeah but I will check in with you guys tomorrow to show you my pasta I'm really kind of curious as to what the skills are gonna show in the morning um I mean, my guess is honestly because ugh, I need to, I really need to find a way to like work out because basically more than half of my day now, I'm literally sitting at a desk. So I'm trying to like stand up, do some squats, move around a little bit just as much as I can. But I am predictions in the morning. I think I'm probably gonna be at like 176, which is totally fine. Like I said before, like I just, my goal is to not go any higher than like 67, 168 come Sunday morning. But like I said, I know I need to jump my metabolism, restart my metabolism. So I do need to load up on the carbs i do need to load up on the calories so it's all good it's all good in the hood all right check in with you guys in a bit bye good morning you guys just saw the scale i'm at 164 which is pretty much like the opposite of what i was expecting <laughs> and i'm not mad at it i'm telling you i am not mad at it whatsoever i definitely was anticipating to go up because that was my whole intention of you know eating some pasta last night and pasta today is to load up on the carbs to jump start my metabolism but like i said i am not mad at it so we are just gonna go ahead and go with it um so so tonight will actually be the real tester because I'm having like just straight up more pasta and I'm also having, you know, like a glass of wine. Uh, like I said, yeah, that will be the real test. <laughs> 
and I don't think I'm gonna stay at 164. Like that doesn't really just sound realistic at all. Um, but I'm hoping I don't go up any higher than like 166, 167. You know, the end of for tomorrow, 167 was gonna be like my limit. But seeing as how I'm at 164, I'll we change that. Like, you know, 166 tomorrow, 165. And then I'll just be like incredibly happy with that. So that's what's going on. It's sad. Saturday. I'm just getting dressed ready for the day. I got a lot of stuff to do, but pretty much my morning routine is I can't really start my day without like taking a shower, getting dressed, and then getting down to business. Like if I am not able to shower and start my day, then like it's my whole day off. <laughs> That's where we're at. I will be sure to. Oh, and also something. I got a little pumpkin pie too. You know, the festivities are not stopping. We're continuing with the Halloween festivities. Halloween is next weekend. You know, we'd be celebrating all month long. We started celebrating basically like the end of October. So we just gonna keep, we gonna keep going and we gonna keep doing it. Yeah, I also got some pumpkin pie. So basically that's what I was trying to say. I got pumpkin pie. Excited about that. But I will check in with you guys a little bit later to show you what the pasta looks like, which I'm super excited about. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. So I have to say, the body dysmorphia is real. Like, okay, so my boobs look extra big because of the type of bra I'm wearing, but I still... <sighs> I still feel like I'm in that same body, that same 200 pound, 220, 230 pound body. Like physically, I mean, I feel like I have a little bit more energy, but I still don't feel any different. Like even when I'm dressing, I still feel like I'm dressing for the same type of body that I had before. And it's seriously the weirdest thing. Like I can't, I look in the mirror and I seriously, I still don't even see a difference. Like I'm looking at myself in the mirror right now and I'm just like, it still looks the same to me. <laughs> Like I see some difference, like I, I see the difference when I put on, you know, clothes that I had and I'm like, oh, my clothes don't fit. But even just looking in the mirror, like it still, it still looks the same. Like the dysmorphia is real. And honestly, it wasn't even until like yesterday when my daughter started booking it and I had to chase after her. My body did feel different when I was running though. I was like, oh, this is what it felt like before. <laughs> like this is a different kind of sprint going on. So I will say that, but yeah, I don't don't know I guess it's just gonna have to take some time take some time right like when does it well when will it hit me when will it catch up to me I know it's the craziest thing man I'm telling you but it's real it show is real all right happy Sunday we made it to Sunday finally <laughs> Uh, you guys just saw the scale. Ooh, and I am breaking out, but that's to be expected. I am premenstrual this week. So I'm at 165, which is exactly where I wanted to be. I did load up on pasta last night. I had a couple glasses of wine. I had some pumpkin pie. And so 165 is good, good. So hopefully that had re uh, jumped my metabolism. Uh, the day before I had gone down to 164, but oh my goodness, that is like more than breaking out. I'm having an allergic reaction. Anyways, we're just not gonna pay attention to that. <laughs> so um, I didn't film it last night because I was just in the middle of it, but my stomach was cramping and bloating so bad. This gas, I'm pretty sure it was from the cheese. Like I'm sensitive to cheese, but I still be eating cheese anyway. But I was in so much pain. Oh my God, like just cramp. Oh my God, like just thinking about it now, I'm still a little tender. Uh, but other than that, I enjoyed myself. It was delicioso, Mwah. 165 is good. It's a good place to start. Um, I'm gonna insert here again uh, what my weight loss uh, goal journey is looking like right now. And I believe by by November 1st, I'm supposed to be at um, 166, either 169 or 166. I'm gonna say 166. Then um, December following that, I'm supposed to be down to the 150. So I've actually already reached my goal of two weeks early. As long as I either maintain or end up going below. Um, I was trying to actually reach 160 at the end of this month and I think I could probably do it. I mean, I've been really proud of myself. I still haven't really been incorporating too much exercise either. It's literally here or there but I'll probably make a separate video on just you know everything I've been doing up to this point because I've gotten actually quite a few questions about it um you know what my methods are <laughs> so um it's, it's pretty simple honestly like I'll just make another video just 
breaking that down and going into that as well but anyways thank you so much for watching me this week i am working on trying to film a little bit more there's just so much stuff going on but definitely next week i'm gonna try to just incorporate you know, just more stuff just like overall i wanted to transition from it being weight loss to just like weekly vlogs so i think i'm definitely gonna I did start doing that I'm um, starting tomorrow uh, but anyways like I was saying thank you so much for watching if you would like to help me grow my channel please make sure you like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one thanks bye